Yeah, I'll tell you, some people have read this, including myself, say it is very realistic as to what could happen. They call our transportation system brittle, meaning the bridges can fail. The gasoline in the holding tanks in Northwest could end up in the river completely when those tanks fail. It's a message to start working with your neighbors to get ready. Snowstorms are a really good reminder of how unprepared we are. Most of us still had heat, power, lights, working phones, but still our communities came to a halt for days with just some snow falling. What if there was a major earthquake? People aren't ready at home, at work, and in their car. It gives you a good forecast of how troubling a Cascadia earthquake will be. The Portland City Club's report holds grim details of what could be ahead, from gasoline supplies gone, roads and bridges destroyed. A nine-point earthquake is going to impact everyone from Northern California all the way up to Canada. It's going to compromise our infrastructure and it's going to compromise FEMA and other agencies' abilities to reach the people when they really, really need help. Personal preparedness is the only thing you can do to get ready. The report emphasizes neighbors need to work together on preparedness, not just for the quake, but for survival afterwards. You go to the grocery store, you can pick up an extra of your favorite meal that is shelf stable and put into your emergency supply kit. The same goes for cities and the state. Some suggestions include more new schools that are ready to withstand quakes and can be turned into a gathering place afterwards. We just need to keep investing, uh, slow but surely, like you invest for retirement, uh, knowing that at some point the investment will bring return. And along the way, some of the uh, investments that we make in physical and social infrastructure is going to benefit us right away. Now, again, keep in mind those two snow that we weathered recently where you may have been stuck in the house for a few days, not been able to get even down the driveway, never mind into your road. That's the kind of situation you're going to see with a major earthquake, only far worse. So they are recommending you start talking with your neighbors and start building up a supply a little bit at the time because it's not a matter of if it's going to come, but when. Live in Southeast Portland, Lisa Bailey.